In this video, I will be showing you how to create a floating action button using Coordinator Layout in Android Studio. A floating action button is basically a button that will always appear in the front of the screen and stays in your view even when things in the app moves. Here is an example. Once we press the button, you can see that our floating action button moves out the way, but it is still in the view. Even when we click it again, and when we close the little snack bar message, the button still goes back to where it was before. It always stays in view. So to create a floating action button, I will be in the coordinator layout and I will implement the dependency that comes with it. Let's move this over to the side. You do not have to do this, but I do this because I feel like it gives me a bigger space to work with. We're going to head over to activity main, which is right here. And you're just going to click it. We're going to head over to split right here. And we're just going to take out text view. Once you take out text view, I want you to go up top to right here and delete this. We're going to be exchanging it with coordinator layout instead. Just press enter right there and it should do all the work for you. So right now we have coordinator layout, but we do need a dependency that comes with it so we can have the tools and functions so we can create the floating action button. And to do that, I just head over to the developer.android.com site and the dependency for it is right here. So what we're going to do is just copy this and click copy. If you're using Java, you can also use the one that the Groovy uses that Android says is for Groovy. But if you're using Kotlin, that's also fine as well. Just copy this and I'll show you where to paste this dependency. Now we're going to head over back to Android Studio and we're going to go over here to Gradle Scripts. Click the drop down button right where it says build.gradle, the module one. We're going to double click it. Now, once you're here, you're going to scroll down all the way to where you see dependencies, which is right here. Let me highlight it for you right here. And we're just going to get a new line. You just press enter at the end of this and just paste the dependency that you copy from the website. Once you do that, head over to sync now and we'll just wait for it to sync. Once the syncing is done, you're going to head over back to activity main, which is right here. And you can even exit this out if you want to. Now for the floating action button, we're just going to get a new line again. We're just going to do the opening tag and just type floating. And you should see right here, floating action button. To do this, I'm just going to have wrap content, wrap content. And you should see that there's a little circular motion right here. What I want to do with it is move it right here, but you can move it to anywhere you please. But I'm going to try to move it to the bottom right. And to do this, I'm just going to do layout, margin, bottom. Oh, excuse me. Before I do that, I have to set the gravity. I'm going to put gravity equals bottom. And I'm going to do this little line character right here. And I'm going to put right. By combining these two, you can put it to the bottom left, the bottom right, whichever you want. I'm just going to add this little closing tag. Excuse me. I put the wrong one. I'm just going to add this to it. Okay, I think this is perfect. Oh, excuse me for that. Even we, even pro programmers make a lot of mistakes. It's a good thing that we have Control Z. Now, next thing I want to do, I wanted to get a little bit space from the corners, so I'm just going to have to change the padding. So I'm going to type layout, margin, margin bottom, and I'm just going to type 16 dB. It lifts it up a little bit, but I want it to be even more centered. So I'll just go down and put layout margin right 16 dp. And once I do that, you can see that it is at the corner, but it's not fully at the corner. And look at that. We created a floating action button. If you like this tutorial, I recommend that you go on my channel and check out my other tutorials. Mass programmer route.